Good afternoon, everyone. It's now July 8th on a Saturday afternoon playing Project 1999 Red Server. I'm on my Bard, just hit level 25. And um, I think I'm going to go work on gaining a new level. And from where I'm located currently, I think the best place to do it would be East Karana is fighting crag spiders. I'll give it a try. If the process is slow, I will revert to kiting crag spiders or relocating to find a new area. Now let's give it a go. I've now got my polished granite tomahawk. I just earned this last level and it's making a big improvement on my ability to solo in melee fashion. Okay, so let's head over there. See you by the Crag Spider location. Okay, well I'm pretty much in the area. Nobody's in zone but myself, which is why I like playing on the red server to begin with. All right, I see a couple Crag Spiders here. One, two, only see two. It's usually about six or seven. Where are the rest of them? There's three of them. So I think, let's consider them. Blue, 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 blue. Everything is blue, which is perfect. Okay, um, because I just gained the new level, let me work on my melee first before I start. Before we start hiding. This one looks like a perfect target. So now that I hit level 25, let me just go ahead and play around with the whip first. This is my twist button set. Let's target him first. So we're starting out with 0% XP. All right, I'll start twisting now. So I guess the last video I made, I was playing music that wasn't copyright free and I got a copyright claim on my video. Oopsie. This time I made sure my video background music is copyright claim. Uh, it looks like I just did a stun there. It's a very short stun. And wow, we are really doing a good job here soloing this spider. There's a stun. One, two, three, four. It looks like about four seconds stun. Three to four seconds. Just nice. be very useful against casters. I might end up gaining two levels in this zone. Now that I've played around with the whip, I'm going to put my one-handed blunt in my main primary hand. So that was very easy. Let's see what we have. 0% experience in the level so far. And it brought us up to 3. I can definitely work with this. There we go. Put that there. So we can inc increase our... I just saw a spider die. Oh, it's Wembley and Sir Morgan. They just killed a crack spider. I really wish he would leave because he's um, really disrupting my kiting area. 
This is my area of operation right here. Okay, let's do this one right here. Perfect. So I have my Coldane Velium Morning Star in my primary hand so I can work on my one handed blunt skill. I guess I should start twisting a bit so I can decrease my downtime. There we go. So it's, I feel much better now. This is a stronger spider than the previous one. I can tell. 37 da damage hits on me. It's a lot. When things get close to me, I tend to stop using my dot spell so I don't bring ads on to myself. I'm getting stunned a lot. Keep the healing spell going while I finish this guy. Try to counteract the poison as much as possible. So I just had a, an intern, welcome intern lunch. He went to a barbecue place. Everybody showed up, had a good time. Everybody was talking about pets and stuff. So I didn't have a lot to talk about with them. I just looked at pictures of pets and talk, listened to them talk about pets they want and pets they have the pros and cons of having different pet breeds and everything like that. Um, then we started talking about crime shows. I sort of brought up the topic because they had mentioned it before in one of our, after one of our lectures. And then I asked about local, like some crimes that happened locally involving famous serial killers and stuff. And it, a couple of the people I sat with are really big into crime documentaries, and so am I. So we had a good talk about that, and I felt like I was fitting in and socializing, <laughs> talking about crime documentaries. But everyone's got their topics that they're really comfortable talking about. So I have some Netflix homework to do. I'm going to watch some shows. I've already watched one of the ones that we, it's, it has to do with um, uh, an area in Texas that a lot of people were killed at back in the 80s and 70s and maybe even the 90s when this area was more undeveloped. There was areas where not many people would go out to and then it was a place where you could hide things and people were hidden away for periods of time and then some horseback riders or somebody out there for some random reason came across dumping areas let's just say that so it's kind of gross topic i guess but what interests me is that it's a local thing. You know, it's part of local history, local legend. 
So it adds a little bit of like intrigue to it, in my opinion. All right, I think we're ready. I keep closing this bag. I need to leave this bag open. This is my weapon bag. Let's keep it right there, and I should stop closing it. This time I'm going to use my hatchet as my primary weapon. And today we were all going to go to a water park that's really close to my apartments. It's one that I can get into for free because I'm a resident of my apartment complex. We happen to pay homeowner association fees for it so we get free access. And then we can bring guests for very cheap, but then we had a lot of range just pour down. So um, after the fun barbecue luncheon we had, I ran to get my hair cut. And you know, I don't understand the point of booking online because I booked online for 1240. I booked, I arrived on time. Um, there was a walk-in that showed up just before me and uh, just a few minutes before me. And then I waited 30 minutes to get my hair cut. So it's like, what's the point of booking online when walk-ins can take priority over you? I mean, you may show up to the store, but I reserved, I booked online, you know, it's like I checked in. I checked in 20 minutes early. So I ended up waiting half an hour. Um, normally wouldn't be upset, but I have a very short weekend and doing things like waiting eats into my free time for fun so I just got home I'm not I wasn't like super impressed with my haircut a little shorter than I, I wanted but they didn't do a lot of like is this short enough is this short enough you know once they cut down to a certain length it's like you got to go with it you can't say oh a little longer please you know it's too late for that it's already too short it's already cut can't just regrow the hair on the spot so I was like okay it's shorter than I wanted but that's fine I was more upset about waiting behind a walk-in person I used to do walk-ins and every time I did walk-ins it's like I watched people come in after me and they would call their name out and I'd be like oh I didn't check in online or reserve a spot. And then when I start reserving spots, it seems like it doesn't matter. The walk-ins just step in front of me. But that's okay. It's just, you know, it's just life. It is what it is, people say. So 10% uh, of our way through this level already. It's pretty good. I killed what? Three? Killed three spiders. Very little downtime. One hand blunt starting to go up. So what I'll do is I'll kill a couple, maybe two more of these with melee. I'll say, hmm, I think my skills are maxed for the level. All but one hand blunt. I'll go AFK for a few minutes while I, well, I'll, I'll, I'll minimize the game while I do a couple things online. And then by the time I come back, I'll round up spiders. And we'll kite spiders to quick, quicken this process. These are probably the least favorite things to kite. I don't enjoy kiting spiders, not one bit. So yeah, this axe is great. You see it procking a lot. Berserker strength. It's really nice. It's a really great proc for such an easy weapon to obtain. I mean, I'm, I wouldn't even call it mid-range. It's more of a early newbie gear.
Yeah, let's just put on restoration. Crag spiders. All right, that was 3%. Look at the silk on these things. That is nice. Let's see what we're getting for silk. Already start on our second stack. I think I will now round up some crag spiders. Let's go AFK for about five minutes first. Okay, I am going to gather up spiders now. These are a little trickier to gather up without social aggro. They're actually quite annoying, to be honest. So there's one. For some reason I stopped running quickly. And there's Sir Morgan running around. Let's grab this one first. I'll do boastful bellows as I run around him. Okay, put my seals back on. Now we're gonna target this one. There we go, boastful bellows. Put seals back on. Let's go ahead and circle around this mountain and grab that one. Perfect. Here we go. See those back on? I couldn't tell if that one was after me or just walking around. Here's one. Boastful bellows. There we go, got him. See those back on. Grab any ones that are left. That one over there. That might be the only one. I might have missed one, I can't tell. We'll go with this. Boastful bellows. All right, got Seelos back on. Oh, there's a player right there sitting. Did not see him. Shit. I did not see this guy. Player named Glax, he just showed up. Because when I last checked before I went AFK, he was not there. Here we go. Because I see a player here, I'm only going to do one kite session. Try to be fair. And we'll do it right over here. Gorge hound in the way. I'm going to do it over here. I know there's guards, there's griffins, there's all kinds of crap right here. This is going to be annoying. Tell you what, I'll do it in this little enclave or entrance or whatever you call it. Matriarch. We'll do it right here. And then because there's a player here, I will go into the Gorge of King Zorb and I'll try to get my Minotaur Horn as my next upgrade item. Questing. Yep, this looks like a good area, good area to do it. 
So I'm not going to round them up. I think they'll get rounded up pretty well as I'm pulling. All right, let's put our dot song on. There we go. I haven't kited these in a while, so I kind of forgot how close I need to get. And they seem like they're fairly quick. Ooh, they are fast, yeah. Well, I'm barely outrunning them. They are wincing. And they look angry. So we're going to do a slow, gradual circle without silos on. Ooh, they look close. Straighten my circle to get a little distance. There we go. Now I'll start the circle again. I'm trying to keep a wide diameter. So I maintain my distance. They're getting close, but there's not a huge amount of them. It's not like there's 25 spiders in there. There's like six or seven. I think there's about seven. So seven times three. Let's see. We should get about 22% 22, 22 experience off of this. Brass Instruments is going up. Very nice. 78 skill. Okay, I'm making a slow adjustment in my direction here. Don't want to get too tight on my turns. Don't want to take fall damage either. Oh, I took fall damage. Okay, let's put on Celo. That took fall damage and I... I messed that up there. Okay. It didn't take much damage though. Okay. So I'm gonna I'm gonna get a little wider. Yeah, we'll start doing the turn here. Around the tree. Yeah, that's perfect. I know I'm not hitting him yet. I will soon. There you go. I'm letting him catch up slowly. Letting him catch up. Letting him catch up. And a griffin decided to come through my area. That's okay. All right, and turn sharper. Let him catch up. Let them catch up. There they are. There we go. Starting to wince. There we go. One, two, three, four, five, six winces. So there's probably six spiders in there. Like they're still catching up to me. Watch the snake decide he got hit too. Hey, I got hit. All right, probably about four more winces or less, and they're gonna start roaming in all kinds of directions, and I'll have to finish them off one by one, which is perfectly fine. There's one, there's two, there's three. They're all running away now. The ones that aren't running away, I assume, are higher levels. Let's go and put that disruptive thing back on. Okay. 
There they go. Let's finish them off. One is getting far away. We gotta hurry up. Okay. One down. Let's see. I'll get this one. He's nearly dead. down. Three down. Four down. Like, yeah, there's one more over there. This will be number five. Six. I wonder if that Gorge Hound wants to fight too. Probably. Hey, look, there's a player out here. Two players, three. Oh, come on. I don't want another Gorge Hound. All right, let's start twisting songs here. As you can see, Red Server's got activity, and it's not all malicious. People are social here. Two percent XP for the level. The Gorge Hound was sort of a waste. Waste of time, that is. See, we got a guy's blue to me, another guy's blue to me. His pet's green. They're all, all, all of them are blue to me. 
All right, let's get out of here. That was really decent. Money-wise, very decent. And I think I'm done kiting in this area for now. Too many other players around. I don't want to be a nuisance. Um, as far as sill goes, we're going to have a lot of money here. F almost four platinum. There's another almost four platinum. And for these, that's going to be two platinum almost. Perfect. You can buy some light stones, only one of them though. That would be worth a little bit of experience, not much. That was not bad at all. Probably need to buy some more muffins. Let's check my muffin bag. There we go. So we have a full stack and plus eight. Let's buy 16 more, 12 more. Got two full stacks now. Uh, milk. We're low on milk, but it doesn't look like they sell milk. We'll buy some water flask. There we go. Combine these milks. Add this. Good. All right. Looks like a bard. seem to say anything here looks like an outhouse or a shed okay um, I'm gonna go to the inside the gorge and see if I can get a minotaur horn and I'm gonna do that because this zone has got one two three four players besides myself five of us total that's a lot of people for red server and we're all around in our mid to low 20s. Not bad. Looks pretty cool. Cloak of Shadows. I would love to have plus 13 decks. I think that would solve a lot of my issues with missed notes to have plus 13 decks. So um, I'm 30 three minutes into this recording and I've gained 32% of my experience in the level. I made a lot of platinum. Okay, so now that I've gained another level, I believe the elders will leave me alone. Actually, it doesn't look like he'll leave me alone. It says, this creature could pose problems. You would probably defeat it. He is going to attack me, isn't he? I'm not getting that reasonably safe message. Well, that's cool. I came pretty close to him to pull him. Here we go. My man, the Chasm Minotaur, still conning blue. All right, let's get going. Um, probably start heal healing. I'll fight him right here. Actually, we should pull him out. All right, we got him coming after me. I'll fight him right here.
Twisting Four songs, Chant of Battle, Denon's, Dis Denon's Disruptive Discord, Chords of Dissonance, and, and I throw in the Hymn of Restoration at the end. I usually leave that running at the very end when they're fleeing so I can reduce my downtime and heal up while I'm chasing the last bit of life. There we go. Still no Minotaur Horn. Come on, guys. Not even a Minotaur Battle Axe. Okay. Well, I'm going to stick around here for a little bit longer. But I'm going to keep this episode short. I'm going to try to make about two more episodes today on Saturday. Otherwise, I would keep playing straight through. But thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed the episode. Have a great week. Try to do a wave here. And I'll see you guys soon. Bye.